Hey everybody, it is review time on the channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Billiards Angle Finder. So the owners of this company reached out to me on Instagram actually and said, you know, would you, I be interested in doing a review on it? And I said, sure, I'll do a review. So they sent me this. Um, we're gonna take a look at how they're advertising, what they're gearing this product for. I'm gonna give my opinions on what this product could be for. Because generally, I like to approach things from a different angle, okay? And I always like to be learning. So who is this video for? Certainly, if you're a teacher of the game, stick around, watch the video, and learn about the product. If you are a beginner of the sport, um, stick around. If you're a pool hall owner, or you're in the pool industry, and you're thinking about bringing this product in, watch the video. Also, if you're an advanced player, well, you've been around for for a while, you're not a spring chicken. So if you're interested in the product, stick around and uh, form your own opinion, okay? I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You know what you're doing. But in any event, let's get to it. Is that you, bud? Hey, bud. First and foremost, YouTube requires me to tell you that uh, this product here was sent to me for free. So is this video sponsored by Billiards Angle Trainer, well, I, it was given to me for free. So I'm gonna put in the description of this video that yes, it was sponsored. However, uh, you can find this product on Amazon in America. You can find this product on Amazon in Canada. And quickly you'll find out it's not an expensive product, right? For the price of a couple large Starbucks coffees, you can have this at your home delivered. It'll take a lot more than a couple Starbucks coffees to uh, bribe me. All right. So uh, this is the package that it comes in. Billiards Angle Trainer, the ultimate ghost ball and angle shot trainer helps develop your muscle memory. Point and hit technology. Wow, okay, well, we'll take a look. We will be the judge of that. Sayonara. Okay, so here it is. So obviously you have your point just put it in my hand so you guys get a general idea of how big this is. Um, you've got your pointer, you point that towards the pocket and then you have your little thing that you're aiming for. That's your aim point right here. Let me turn that so you see, right? And I think uh, what their idea is at some point as a teacher, you wanna take that out of the way, you have that option, right? But if we bring in a cue ball or a a ball here so that you guys can see you just set it on top of the ball and there you have it you've got your okay okay everybody we're back at the table uh, I'm gonna start with one thing that I noticed right away with the product and after you hit this thing it's not necessarily 90 degrees anymore so you always have to be making sure that it's down 90 degrees okay also, you know, having a ball there and then trying to place this on top, I don't know. I, I don't know if I generally like that. I like to just sort of put it on top and point it towards the corner that I want it to be pointed towards, right? So anyways, here we go. We're going to do our first shot. This is a relatively straight shot. And by rights, I aim the center of my cue ball right at that yellow tip on the billiards angle trainer. And we'll see what happens. Oh, it was flying, but we made the shot. So here you go, right? Do you notice how it's moved? Always be watching it. Gonna point this one to the side. Then I come at a steeper angle. Okay, I'm gonna aim for that yellow. Good to go. All righty. Again. Let's take a look. Aim for the yellow little dot. Center ball, center the cue ball. It works. The product works. In essence. Okay, so in essence, this product, sure. It works on a very basic level, okay? So if 
you're at the point where you're teaching a person how to aim. You know, I like to use Cliff Thorburn's, what I, what I learned in his Snooker Techniques book, where I envision a line coming through my object ball, and then on the other side, you know, that's the point that my cue ball has to hit, right? That's what this is doing, okay? Um, this is mimicking the ghost ball, which, which is another way of aiming, right? You could use CJ Wiley's aiming techniques. CJ's awesome, right? He's been doing a lot of amazing videos and he's very open on how he likes to aim, okay? So, you know, in the end, it's all the same, but we all learn differently. So this is a visual aid, but I use this product very differently. I would, if I was teaching somebody, I would use it very differently because I can go onto the table and I can line up a shot for them that's very close and I'll say, okay, knock this in. And they'll knock it in, depending on where they are in their skill level. But then I'll go way over to the other side of the table and I'll set up the object ball with this. And then I'll go way over to this side of the table with the object ball. Maybe I'll put it really close to the table. So the student is bridging off the rail. It's an awkward hit. Um, it's far, the distance, the real estate between the object ball and the cue ball is quite far. Do you think they're gonna sink the object ball just because this is on there? I mean, this is literally telling them the exact point that they have to aim for. Are they gonna make it? I would be willing to bet that no. Depending on where they are in their development, no, they're not gonna make it. And now you've illuminated it to them. This is an illuminator. Like in Harry Potter, it's an illuminator. And what have you illuminated to them? That, you know, aiming, while an important part of the game, it is only one fraction of the things you need to know to be a pool player, right? So the delivery of the cue ball from point A being your tip of your cue to point B, the contact point of the object ball, there are a thousand things that you have to get right from point A to point B to be able to sink that object ball. And yes, aiming is one of them, but there's a thousand things that have to happen before. You have to be able to deliver that cue ball. Deliver it from point A to point B. And that's a valuable lesson. So then when people are like, Ugh, the fundamentals and learning the fundamentals, you have to learn it all, right? So this has become an illuminator, okay? Now let's talk about some more advanced techniques. We're gonna use the billiards angle trainer to illuminate to them what cut and deuce throw is, okay? So if you go and you set up a shot, something similar to this, you put the billiards angle trainer on there, okay? It's pointed to the corner. You say, okay, um, you're gonna try to hold for something. You can take it to the side, so um, just Use the billiards angle trainer, hit it at a medium pace, okay? All right, so they bend down. They're able to deliver the cue ball in the fashion that you want them to. You hit it, and it hits the rail, and it doesn't go in. And they're gonna say to you, well, what happened? I, I hit the spot. And then you can go into your lesson. Like this isn't a less, this isn't a video on cut and deuce throw. There's plenty of good videos out there if you don't know what cut and deuce throw is. But basically, our cut has thrown it into the side cushion because you know we didn't compensate like we should have, right? So now you can go into the lesson on what cut and deuce throw is, what uh, deceleration is, and every sort of little fa factor that goes into that lesson in particular, right? And you're on your way. And this helped you. This tool helped you, right? It illuminated something to them that, you know what? Just hitting this point is not enough, okay? This is a hard game, right? And this is where I differ from the makers of this product, okay? Um, it's not as simple as just putting it on an object ball and hitting it, right? This is a hard game. This is not an easy game. I'm not putting this product down. It's an illuminator. That's how I would use this product if I was teaching a student, okay? Let's take a look at something else. Another lesson that you could be doing using the billiards angle finder is shooting balls down the rail, 
right? So you set it for your student and you say, okay, shoot the 11 ball down to the corner. So they bend down, they chalk their cue, they do everything right, they aim for the dot, and they miss it by quite a bit, and they don't understand why. Perfect. That's a perfect lesson for you to start talking about throwing a little bit of running English, right? And you can explain to them how running English, how that helps you run into your object ball, and you know how the spin transfers to the object ball and how that helps delivering it to the object pocket, right? So set it up for them again. And then they're going to be taking this shot a number of times. Trust me. Right. And they might still miss it. Right. Because something else is happening now. Right. They're going to bend down. They're going to compensate. They're going to throw that running English on it. But then they still miss it closer, but they still miss it, right? And now, perfect. <laughs> now you can start talking to them about deflection, right? So you're hitting the cue ball, and now that we're putting English on it, now it's going to be squirting a little bit. You're going to be throwing that cue ball off where you think it is, and you have to adjust. Remember, this game isn't easy. It takes practice, right? So now, now your student you're going to set them up time and time again here. You can have it pointed. Yeah. And now they're going to start thinking to themselves, okay, I have to, you know, throw running English because that's going to help me. It's going to transfer this. Okay. Yeah. And, and then also now that I'm doing that, I'm going to squirt a little bit though. So I have to, the cogs are turning. So overall, after they've centered themselves and they go down, now, now we're talking and they're going to start developing success, right? I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to say it one, oh, this is probably my second last time of saying it. You've illuminated to them by using a tool. Okay. So we all remember lessons from high school, junior high, elementary school. Have you ever thought about why you remember these particular lessons? It's because that teacher went above and beyond and they left a lasting impression. And guess what? We are all visual learners, right? We learn visually. That's why a lot of you are on YouTube because you want to see it, right? Now, when I was a kid, I didn't have YouTube and you know, I had to read books, right? And you can still read books, but we're all on YouTube now and uh, <clears throat> we're visual learners. If you're a teacher or if you're just le learning this game, this is a visual tool. It is an illuminator. Okay, my final recommendation. I'm not gonna give an overall recommendation. I'm gonna break it down. Are you a pool hall owner? Then yes, I recommend you bring them in. Five to 10, 20, I don't know how many you wanna throw in there, but you have a showcase at the front, throw them in your showcase, make a few bucks, even rent them out. It's up to you, you're the business owner, but. Is it worthwhile? There's always a boy that's always looking to teach his new girlfriend and wiggle up behind her and show her how things are done, right? Or maybe the girl and the guy, who knows? But anyways, yeah, as a business owner, bring it in. Um, as a beginner, yes, I recommend this tool for you. Um, certain things stick when you're learning and certain things don't stick, right? Maybe you don't understand how the ghost ball works. And that's not visually how you work. Well, this is the ghost ball, basically. This point, that's the ghost ball, okay? So now you're aiming for a point instead of trying to imagine a ghost ball. So that may make, may make more sense to you. I've shown a few lessons here. So um, a teacher, well, if you're actually teaching this game, you've been around for a while and you're probably pretty knowledgeable. So um, I'm not gonna tell you or recommend it to you you've seen what the product is and uh, maybe you want to give it a try. You know, I would hope that you would at least have one in your toolkit and maybe if you have that one student that just quite isn't visualizing it correctly, maybe you pull this out. Maybe this will help them. I don't know. Um, as an advanced player, you're not a spring chicken. You saw the video. I'm not going to say yay or nay. I'm not going to tell you what, uh, 
Like you know how you want to learn. So if you're having trouble in one area of your game and you think this might help you, maybe you buy it, maybe you don't. I'm not going to say yes or no because uh, you're a good pool player. You don't need me telling you what to do. But that's everything. Um, big thanks to Pedro for sending this to me and reaching out. Um, thank you for that. Um, I enjoyed making the video. Um, if by chance you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. That uh, shows YouTube that uh, you value what I do and it helps YouTube push it to other people who probably haven't seen my channel. So like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. Um, thanks guys. Until the next time and in between time, I'll catch you on the flip side.